LC Sciences Oligomix. Oligomix is a versatile, innovative, custom product for genomics discoveries. We synthesize thousands of oligonucleotide sequences at once in massive parallel on microarray chip and then cleave the oligos, releasing them into solution in a single microtube. Synthesis occurs via standard DMT chemistry, assuring efficient stepwise yield and high quality final product. The product is delivered as a pool in a single microtube ready for use in your experiment. At less than 0.8 cents per base, Oligomix is about 20 times more cost and time efficient than individually synthesized oligos. Delivered in a microtube, it allows researchers to inexpensively program experiments on a genome scale. There is no limit to the number of sequences we can synthesize. Customization of Oligomix substantially increases the number of applications for this product. In addition to defining the sequences, customers also have the option to alter synthesis chemistry and modify the backbone, basis, or terminus of individual sequences. We examine hybridization on multiple built-in control sites and analyze the uniformity and intensity of hybridization spots, the cross-chip spot uniformity, and the perfect match and mismatch hybridization signal ratios to assess the quality of oligomix synthesis. Our QC criteria use standard, standardized procedures and parameters such as the signal intensity, the signal covariance, and the perfect match mismatch ratio. Additionally, we can perform a QC quality test on specified sequences within the mix. Oligomix is produced via an advanced microarray synthesis technology. Termed microparaflow, this technology re represents a significant improvement over previous microarray synthesis methods, such as those utilizing specialized modified nucleotides or other inkjet-like printing technologies. The microparaflow platform is unique in that it integrates a photogenerated acid chemistry, digital photolithography, and advanced microfluidics to enable high-throughput parallel synthesis of custom DNA microarrays. The PGA chemistry enables the use of standard oligobuilding blocks, which have been widely used and optimized for high yield and fidelity, and eliminates the need for any specially modified nucleotides, which have been shown to exhibit lower coupling efficiency and lower sequence fidelity. DLP technology enables programming, programmable synthesis of custom sequences and eliminates the need for expensive and impractical prefabricated masks. The microparaflow microfluidic device contains the synthesis reactions, each within a picoliter scale reaction chamber, producing more uniform spots than reactions performed on an open glass slide. Our microfluidic chip contains 4,000 features. It is a closed system and has a total volume of 10 microliters. The volume of each reaction chamber is 270 picoliters, and the device has been engineered to produce a uniform flow across all chambers. Microfluidics pro provides us the flexibility to perform on-chip parallel synthesis using conventional chemistry of DNA, RNA, or modified nucleotides. Oligomix microarray synthesized oligos have been compared to and demonstrated as effective as column synthesized oligos for use in targeted sequencing applications and have been additional and additionally been demonstrated for applications with even more stringent oligo quality requirements such as gene synthesis, which demands extremely high oligo fidelity and purity. We deliver a minimum of 2.4 times 10 to the negative 3 ODs to 60. There will be sub-femtomoles per sequence and total of picomoles per oligomix tube. One femtomole per sequence is the calculated amount of starting material for oligosynthesis. Oligomix has been used in a variety of applications, including sequence capture applications such as targeted resequencing and targeted methylation analysis synthesis biology applications such as gene synthesis, and library construction applications such as shRNA library prep, siRNA library prep, and construction of protein coding antibody libraries. The use of oligonucleotide libraries as a method of sequence capture has emerged as a better alternative to PCR for target, targeted enrichment of sequence, sequencing samples. Several academic and commercial groups have developed a variety of capture methods using oligonucleotide libraries for enriching or selectively amplifying subsets of the genome for targeted sequencing. Recently developed methods include molecular inversion probes, selective genomic circularization, and oligoselective sequencing. All of these methods have been demonstrated as effective at selecti selectively enriching 
enriching desired regions of interest within a given genome. And LC Science's Algomix has been demonstrated as an effective method of oligosynthesis for these targeted sequencing methods. Molecular inversion probes. Target-specific oligo probe sequences are hybridized to the target region of geno genomic DNA and the probe is circularized by DNA polymerase and ligase such that the target sequence is incorporated into the circular molecule. The genomic DNA is digested and the target DNA is PCR amplified and sequenced. Selective genomic circularization. Pools of target-specific oligo probes are incubated with a digest of genomic DNA and a general vector oligo. Annealing and ligation steps are performed to circularize the targets before library prep and sequencing. The SGC method differs from the MIP-based approach in that the genomic DNA target is directly incorporated into the circular molecules versus the oligopro being circularized, as in the MIP method. Oligoselective sequencing. In the most advanced target capture method, where target-specific oligo oligos modify primers which are immobilized on the sequencing flow cell and function as both a capture and sequencing substrate. Methylation of CPG sites plays an essential role in normal development in mammals and aberrant methylation has been noted in a variety of diseases including many forms of cancer. Hence the tools, tools for the study of DNA methylation are essential. Ideally one would be able to efficiently investigate the methylation of large numbers of CPG in large numbers of sample. The standard method for measuring methylation involves treatment of DNA with sodium bisulfate which causes conversion of unmethylated cytosine to uracil, whereas five methyl cytosines remain unchanged. The, these differences in reactivity of cytosine and 5-methyl cytosines to bisulfate can be distinguished by subsequent microarray or sequencing methods. One group has demonstrated the ability target capture in a microarray application for methylation analysis called methylation by target amplification by capture and ligation. Using the MTACL approach, the regions to be an analyzed are first captured and ligated to common primers, reacted with bisulfite, amplified, and then analyzed by hybridization of the product to, the, to a microarray. The group went on to show that oligomix synthesized oligos performed equally well as individually produced probes manufactured using a single plex PCR amplification and subsequent pooling tech strategy. More recently, another group has demonstrated the utility of target capture in a next-gen sequencing application for methylation analysis. They call it library-free bisulfite padlock probes. In the BSPP sequencing approach, padlock probes are annealed to bisulfite converted genomic DNA. Captured targets are circularized and then PCR amplified with barcoded primers and directly sequenced via Illumina sequencing. Multiplex parallel DNA construction on a large scale requires pools of large numbers of short synthetic oligos. Microarray technology provides a fast and economical means for massive parallel synthesis of oligos, and the programmable microparaflow microfluidic device is capable, capable of synthesizing thousands of design sequences. Large numbers of DNA constructs of design sequences can then be simultaneously assembled with relative ease by joining the short synthetic oligos with multiplex reactions. In these methods, results were compared to and demonstrated similar to column synthesized oligos. In the ligation fusion PCR strategy, a mixture of oligo solution, ligase enzyme, and ligation buffer is subjected to multiple rounds of melting and annealing ligation. The ligation products are PCR amplified with a high fidelity polymerase using several primer pairs specific for regions of the ligated sequence. The PCR products are then gel purified. In the block-based gene assembly strategy is a combination of hybridization-based oligoselection and parallel amplification into a single process that allows simple and cost-effective cost production of unlimited amounts of high-quality building materials directly from unpurified pools of microarray synthesized oligos, reverse of the typical order in which the quality and yield issues are addressed. The oligoselection occurs first and the template amplification is performed second. Once assembled, blocks are co-amplified as a single pool, which is then used as a template for assembly of individual genes. 
Mega cloning, the general approach begins with DNA from microarrays or from conventional sources. Then, next-gen sequencing is used to read and identify oligonucleotides with desired sequences. Finally, the DNA is sorted and retrie retrieved selectively with a microactuator controlled micropipette guided by two microscope cameras. RNAi screening is a powerful tool to identify essential genes for basic cellular function, such as proliferation and metabolism. One approach to achieve RNAi is the expression of shRNAs from DNA vectors. Mammalian cells are transduced with virus, viruses carrying expression cassettes that encode short hairpin RNAs to generate gene-specific siRNAs within cells. An shRNA library can be constructed from synthetic oligonucleotides or enzymatically cleaved natural cDNA. Examples of shRNA libraries prepared with individual synthesized oligos include the RNAi Consortium Library, which contains about 170,000 length of virally encoded short hairpin RNAs. A more advanced approach uses in situ microarray DNA synthesis for generation of complex oligonucleotide populations, as in this example where a group used in situ synthesized sequences to create large-scale human and mouse shRNA libraries. They design oligonucleotides corresponding to more than 32,000 known and predicted genes, in, genes each in human and mouse. They compared in situ array synthesized oligos with pooled conventionally synthesized oligos and achieved similar success rates. RNAi for gene knockdown is a tool that has great promise, but beyond screening for basic identification of gene function, RNAi has the potential for therapeutic application via siRNA-mediated gene silencing. When, comparing, when considering siRNA's therapeutic potential, an important issue that needs to be addressed is siRNA specificity and analysis of any effect on off-target genes causing potential side effects. One approach is the use of an siRNA target library. A team led by researchers at the Karolinska Institute have developed a straightforward, efficient, and cost-effective method for generating an siRNA target library by combining an siRNA target validation vector with oligomix. In this example, they combine the siQuant luciferase expression vector and a single-tube chip synthesized oligomix containing all possible combinations of double mutations in the 19 nucleotide long target sequence of the functional SICD46 to generate their siRNA target library. Synthetic antibody libraries have proven to be effective tools for drug discovery and development through the generation of functional high affinity antibodies against a wide variety of antigens. They, the performance of a synthetic antibody library depends in large part on the diversity of the library, which must be designed based on thorough understanding of the antibody structure and function. The use of degenerate oligonucleotides and other standard methods of diversity introduce introduction lack this precise control and can introduce unwanted or useless codons into the library, thus limiting its performance. Fully designed library diversity is enabled through parallel in situ synthesis of tens of thousands of specific oligonucleotide sequences. The ability to precisely define the final diversity of a library facilitates the process of isolating, characterizing, and optimizing the antibody lead. LC Sciences provides an oligomix order form in Excel format for convenient email ordering. Simply enter your contact information and the sequences to be synthesized. We can deliver your custom oligomix of thousands of divine sequences in less than two weeks. Thank you.